one, just one simple strategy that will bring your presentation to the next level. So what is this strategy? This strategy is called exaggeration. Why exaggeration? Because exaggeration will help you break out of your presentation comfort zone. You see, most of us, we have this presentation comfort zone where we speak in a comfortable pitch or we use a comfortable gesture and we don't really break out of it. For example, the pitch could usually end up in a very flat tone and the gestures will usually be more stuck up and tight and you don't really move or do anything different aside from this repetitive gesture. So that is why exaggeration will help you break out of that limitation and really make your presentation, the way you deliver your message, more exciting. Exaggeration helps with two things. The first one is it will help you to realize a different way of using your body language. And I like to call this gesture variety. And in gesture variety, you will start to notice that your hand gestures will be more extended instead of being so stuck here. And also you learn to see a different way of forming things so that you can illustrate it to the audience. Instead of using just this and this and this and this, you can start to change it up a little bit so the audience will be more excited. Say for example, you're talking about old and young. Gesture variety means that when you exaggerate it, you can start saying old and young, for example. So you see, when you exaggerate, you will create different form of gesture variety. The second thing that exaggeration helps with is vocal variety. And in vocal variety, there are four main things. Number one, pitch, pause, pace, and projection. And I'd like you to notice this. When someone is exaggerating a story, all of these four things will change. The pitch will change, the pace will change, pauses will be included, and projection will also change. And why do they do this? It's because when all of this change, it makes the message more exciting. And that is why vocal variety is also one of the crucial parts of exaggeration. Let's say the story is about a monkey god who lives in a mountain. I could say like this, once upon a time there was a monkey god who lives in a mountain. Versus, once upon a time, there was a monkey god who lives in a mountain. So you can see that when you exaggerate things, people will be like, hmm, all right, what's gonna happen? And I'm more interested. Because it's not like a movie. You're helping them to watch a movie while you're presenting. So, I understand that in business presentations, we cannot really exaggerate too much because it is inappropriate to exaggerate. But remember this, exaggeration has only one main purpose, and that is to break out of your presentation comfort zone. So in your next presentation, i like you to tone it down to where it's appropriate. So it's not too exaggerated, at the same time, it's not too stuck. Find a balance in which you're able to vary your gestures and vary the vocals. Now, here's one tip that can help you. Record yourself when you're exaggerating your speech. And then when you look back at the video, take note on some of the new gestures that you start using and the new vocal variety that you've implemented in your speech. You'll start to notice that this will be your new range when it comes to exaggeration. So ladies and gentlemen, if this video helps you, share it around with your friends. Who knows, maybe with your sharing, you could help them to elevate their delivery skills to present on a whole different level.